hockey champions practicing the skills that helped them win the national indoor finals. The under 18s boys team from the independent school St Lawrence College was playing against older squads from bigger schools. But they did have a Trinidad and Tobago international on their side for what was a nerve wracking final. It was tough at the beginning, you know, we were very nervous, first time in national finals and then, you know, we just stuck to our tactics and in the end it paid off. It was quite tense to be fair, it went 1-1, one, 2-2, one, 3-3 two, two, three, three, and then we kind of ran away with it a little bit at 6-3, so a bit relaxing in the end. But it's nine years of hard work and it's finally paid off, so happy boy. And it helps that one of their teachers has played more than 300 matches for Trinidad himself and is also a coach for Great Britain. Even when we, we, we didn't have any training sessions, they will go out on their own, arrange their own training sessions and train extra. They committed com completely to the program. They, they worked very hard, so disciplined, and the girls were exactly the same. Indoors on this smaller pitch, hockey is an even faster sport, and if some of these boys can hit the ball at 100 kilometers an hour, it's pretty fast. And hockey is becoming increasingly popular, helped by the Great Britain women's team winning its first ever gold medal in the Rio Olympics. The under 16s girls team from St Lawrence also made it to the finals of the indoor championship. As a boys and girls school, I think hockey is great because it's uh, one of those uh, sports where both boys and girls can perform at a very high level together. And so uh, having both a boys and a girls teams in the national final was a uh, real parity of esteem for both the boys and the girls in enjoying their sport here. And both the boys and the girls hope that if they keep training hard, more wins will follow. Abigail Bracken, ITV News, Ramsgate.